Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel so today we're going to be doing episode 15 of our Dark Souls 3 100% walkthrough where we pick up all the items and all the secrets in the game so um, I'm, I'm going to apologize for my voice because uh, after shouting down this mic for the last two weeks or so I may have lost my voice slightly so yeah I apologize for that anyhow. Uh, before going up the main stairs to get to the Grand Archives uh, bonfire we we did go down there to the right and uh, got some chunks. And yeah, so get into the archives bonfire, the grand archive keys there, and we get twin blades. So we just use that key on the big door in front of us. And we are going to be in grand archives. Uh, if you haven't, t if you couldn't tell yet, that's what this episode is going to be. So um, in this room in front of us, there's going to be a crystal sage, just like the boss uh, in the woods. Uh, he will disappear as soon as you hit him a few times. Uh, over there to the right we did pick up another chunk. Uh, heading to the left from where the crystal mage was, we are going to find a crystal listed up here. So make sure you go and kill him. And we're going to take a right and drop down here. So uh, i got to say that the crystal mage uh, does uh, teleport to an, a later area in the map. So uh, just hang on to him and I will kind of tell you where he ends up and... You kind of get something for killing him as well. You get the crystal scroll, so yeah, that's kind of cool. But I'll, I'll let you guys know where he is going to be. Anyway, picking up that Titanite chunk before getting to this main uh, wax area. We're going to be coming back here uh, a few times, so just keep that in mind. We, we're just going to call it the the main wax area. But anyhow, uh, to the right over here, we have a passageway taking a left. There's going to be a red knight here with red eyes, so just be careful of him. We're going to pick this Titanite chunk up. If you drop down there, that is the only way back to the first area at the moment. But anyway, in this room, there's going to be a crystal chime. So this chime allows you to use spells and miracles with it, which is pretty cool. Anyway, main wax area. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, dunk our head in this wax. So what this actually does is... Uh, in these rooms where all these hands come out of the ground and uh, the walls... We won't actually be able to, we won't actually take any damage and we won't get cursed by them if, as long as we've got wax on our heads. So that's kind of cool. In this room there is going to be two crystal lists, so make sure you don't miss them. And uh, over here in plain sight in front of the entrance or the opposite side of the room there's going to be a soul. And to the right of that soul over here there is going to be a lever. So I've already pressed this lever but what this lever does is uh, it activates uh, this bookshelf over here, takes it down and reveals a hidden room. So in this room we're going to have the uh, Witch's Lock and uh, Power Within, the Pyromat's Power Within, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, coming over here, just take this uh, staircase up. So as soon as you get to the top, to the left, we're going to have another Wax Mage. And on the ground we're going to have a Titanite Scale. So coming out of this room, the only way we can, which is over here to the right near this other Wax Mage, um, there's going to be a few things here. First of all, uh, right in front of us, we've got a ladder we can kick down, which will take us back to the first room where the uh, crystal sage was. And to the right of this ladder, there's going to be a little uh, passageway through here with another titanite chunk in it. And uh, continuing through the level to the left, um, we've got. Uh, first, we're going to go out to this balcony out here with an item hanging over the edge. Uh, which is free homeward bones. So we've got this hand ladder just here, but we're not going to take that quite yet because we're going to end up going up there anyway. Uh, over here, opposite the opposite the balcony is going to be a lever which activates something down there, one of the bookshelves down near uh, the main wax area. But we're going to be picking that up in a second, heading up these stairs to the right. It's another tight night chunk, and uh, make sure you don't forget to stick your head in this wax because there's going to be a lot of those hand thingies around here. So yeah. Anyway, uh, turning back on ourselves again, we're going to go up the left staircase and stick to the left one more time and uh, just hop off this broken circle bit here. Uh, and here we can actually roll off or jump off. I recommend jumping just in case you don't make it with a roll, but I believe you can make it with a roll. Uh, jump onto this part, which is just above the first area to get the Avalyn. Oh yeah. Anyway, from here, there is no other way we can go, so we just want to hop down to the first area where the Crystal Sage was, make our way all the back, all, all the way back up to near where the uh, main wax area was. So we're going to go to the right here where we picked uh, an item up before, 
and uh, this is the bookshelf that that lever just uh, moved so in here we get a titanite slab which is also pretty cool so yeah there's so much really cool items in this place so yeah uh, anyway go back all the way back up to the stairs but this time instead of sticking to the left to jump down we're going to stick to the right and come up some more stairs to the left there we had the balcony we could get up by the hand ladder if we wanted to and uh, uh, anyway over here in this corner there's going to be another titanite chunk and over here, it's pretty obvious, uh, fake wall here with an Irithyll beast in it, or whatever you want to call these guys. Uh, once we've been defeated this guy, he is going to give us the Outrider set, which is a pretty cool set too. And uh, there's only one more door we can go through behind the fake wall, which is over here. It takes us to a dead end, but we do get the uh, Soul Stream spell, which is one of the more uh, powerful spells in the game. So yeah, so just head out back the way we came, all the way out of the hidden kind of area. And this time we're just going to head left and continue through. Uh, so you can actually jump down here onto this little bridge, stair bridge, whatever you want to call it. But uh, taking this route will, will lead to the same way, but uh, again, a stone. So yeah, so uh, just head back and go to our right. And over here there will be a red knight, but there's not really much point. This will be... A way we can kind of come back from a later place we can jump onto that uh, balcony out there anyway before heading across the bridge or the stair bridge whatever you want to call it uh, press this lever to the right of it and it will open the bookshelf right next to it and uh, the scholar ring which uh, boosts our intelligence up will be just there so uh, coming back to this wax pool which is the exact same one as the last it is literally the last one we uh, stuck our head in but it's just a bit of a shortcut back now we're just going to head across the bridge. Also mentioned here to the left we could jump down near the main wax area and kill a crystal lizard on top of the bookshelves. But I'm not going to be doing that anyway. And uh, above these stairs to the right. That's going to be our first major shortcut. Where we can press this and it will uh, lower a bookshelf in the first room where the uh, crystal sage was. So yeah, so we have a first pretty cool shortcut. There's quite a lot of shortcuts in this place. But yeah, okay. So once we've done that, just head head up. Uh, this time we're going to go to the left of the staircase we just came up. Continue up the stairs. So in this room, there's going to be a lot of those hands that curse you. So I really recommend uh, having the the wax on your head. Pick up that scale in the chest. Uh, behind all the bookshelves, there's going to be a, another soul. You're bound to get cursed here if you don't have the wax on. So just be careful of that. And also for this next item up here to our right before heading outside. There's going to be a lot of hands coming out of the ground too, so so yeah, just just make sure you have the wax on to get the uh, flesh bite ring. If not, look at all that shit what's coming out of the ground. Anyway, continuing on, uh, now we're going to come outside uh, one more time. Now we're going to go to the left, uh, the only way we can really go at the moment. But instead of continuing to our left, uh, we're going to come to the right to the end of this roof just here. Uh, well, I think we'll be attacked by a gargoyle just here. Uh, also, you pick up the Titanite chunk. And uh, coming back on ourselves, sticking to the left where this sloped w roof is, we can actually jump down here and pick this item up here. So to the left of this item, if we jump down, uh, we will be back at where that red-eyed knight was. Or the red, red-eyed knight, whatever you want to say. And you will uh, be back at the stair bridge again. So yeah, so uh, coming along this path where all these enemies are, we're going to head to the end roof and uh, over here below this arc we can uh, jump down here and pick up this item which is going to be the one that you can see from the balcony. I think it's the first balcony where the hand ladder was so that's how you get that item so just uh, jump across to the balcony and uh, make your way all the way back up really because that's the only option we've got at the moment. This time on the roof, instead of going to the right to the end, we are going to stick to the left side as much as we can and continue through the level. Uh, no items here at the moment. Take a left here at the end and there's going to be one item here. Uh, this balcony to our right, I believe you can, yeah, you can jump straight to it, but we're going to be getting there anyway a bit later on. So uh, continue around here. There's going to be a crystal lizard just here and I think you'll be attacked by two gargoyles uh, in a second as soon as you get to this roof on the left. And uh, also there's going to be an item here which is the one you can see as soon as you uh, get outside you look to the right and you can see that Titanite chunk from the balcony or the the first area, whatever. I don't think it's actually a balcony but um, 
the first piece of ground we can get out to. But uh, anyway, jumping down onto this round roof and heading into the window because there's no other items there. Pick up the ember to the right and this undead bone shard on the chair. Uh, you can knock this ladder down which it will take us to the room uh, where all the hands were and the chest with the titanite scale in it I believe. So around here there's going to be another wax um, pool. Out here to the left is the way to continue through the level but we're not going to do that quite yet. We're going to actually head round to the balcony I mentioned before and pick up two titanite chunks. And yeah now we are definitely going to head to the door I just mentioned to continue through the level. So. Uh, make sure you refill your Estus flask or whatever around here because if you can if you combine the the two shortcut or the foot the shortcut we've got and the last ladder we just kicked down you can get here in no time so anyway continue through on this uh plaza balcony kind of area there's going to be three NPCs so just be careful uh they don't really have that much health if you've got a strong weapon and yeah each one of them uh will give us a unique uh weapon one will give us a staff one will give us the uh golden wing crest shield and the other guy will give us the onikiri anubidachi which is um the deal katanas and there's a soul uh laying around there too anyway after we killed them we're going to get to our second major shortcut and this this is the one i like to use to get to the boss area to be honest there is another one a bit later on but i still prefer this one because it takes you literally right outside where the bonfire is and we're getting really close to the boss but there are a few things we want to do before going to the boss. So go to the bonfire because we haven't really got anything to lose. We're not going to respawn any enemies that we haven't seen yet. And uh, head up the lift, head out. Don't go across the main bridge. Uh, come to the left uh, on this little first dome. We're going to circle around it until we find uh, this soul over here. Continue around until we get to these little rooftops and uh, go the only way you really can which is to this other big roof so once you get to this dome with all the stairs and all that uh, just circle around I believe you can circle left or right it doesn't matter and go all the way to the end and head up some stairs and uh, get to this big roof over here to our right like I said if you did happen to go around the left just do exactly the same take the last stairs or any stairs really I think but um, yeah you'll get to this area and pick up this Esther shard which I believe is the last Esther shard we are going to get in the game so the game has a total of um, 15, 15 sh um, Estus's total and plus 10 total too which we also already picked up but uh, anyway head back to the to the main dome uh, kill the three golden guys that attack you for another titanite slab before heading into the final top door head to the right of the door and come up here to find another hand ladder take the hand ladder all the way to the top and we will be picking up the hunter's ring which is uh the ring that gives you more dexterity so uh hop back down the middle hop down one more time uh watch out if you did reset the map these golden guys will respawn so just keep that in mind anyway head into the main building or the top building jump onto this beam just here and uh, now really the only option we've got is to jump onto this um, bird cage I guess, massive bird cage, I don't know, some kind of a cage. And uh, pick up this miracle in here which is Divine Pillars of Light which is the miracle the fat guys what just attacked us use. Which is cool to have if you're going faith. Uh, anyway, uh, below the cage is going to be a blessed gem at one of the ends and uh, just be careful here you want to do this as quick as you can because this guy can knock you off pretty easily if you're not watching watching out for his spells so go ahead and kill him and the only option we've got at the moment is to to just take the hand ladder behind him and go back down to one of the earlier areas well we're actually still just above one of the earlier areas but and there's actually going to be two chests one with divine blessing and um one with two twink uh, three twinkling titanites so yeah, so that's it for here. Now if we go over here to our left, we're actually going to drop down to uh, the room just before, uh, I think it's where we got the flesh bite ring from. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and, and now we can just head back out to where the first time we headed out. So anyway, um, head back or whatever you want to do and come to the main boss bridge where the uh, last 
short cut was from the bonfire head up now go all the way across the bridge but before heading into the boss door we're going to come to our right and there's going to be another elevator here so uh, this elevator will take you down to to the right of the boss from last episode from Lothric Castle boss just to the right so remember this room last episode I picked up an item just here but I did forget to put in this chest I don't know why I forgot that simple chest but uh, sorry about that We'll pick that up now anyway, guys, but um, before heading back up, we're actually going to step on the elevator, but we're going to get off a bit and discover that this has a second elevator just below it, which we can take to get to an even lower level. So down in this lower level, there's going to be one last Titanite slab we can get this episode, so I think that's three Titanite slabs this episode, that's pretty good to have three weapons at plus ten. Uh, uh, yeah, so um, head all the way back up and it's just time to fight the uh, boss Once you kill him get his soul like always and this is going to be our fourth and final Lord of Cinder So uh, technically we can go and finish the game now, but I do want to do one last episode on this item walkthrough uh, Which is going to be Arch Dragon's Peak which should be up later today or tomorrow So yeah guys uh, also, I want to mention that I finally got some t-shirts out. Um, I was I was actually planning to do some t-shirts on like 10k, but it went past so quick and I'm always on 20k now, so I, I guess it's better. Uh, if you want to go and check out some of my t-shirts, it would be really cool uh, just to share these things with you guys. Uh, make sure you go and check it out, links in the description. Remember, if you enjoyed this video or how it was helpful, please go like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter where I actually did a poll the other day of what weapon I should use on my first PvP video. So thanks for the people that voted that. I'll be recording that very soon. Uh, also, I'll be putting polls up there for all the PvP videos. So if, you, if you're interested in voting for what weapon I should be using, make sure you go and follow me on Twitter. And yeah, guys, we'll see you next episode.